Okay guys, this is another video I decided to make and one of the reasons is uh, that uh, when I built my station I came back to 11 meters about a year and a half ago after like 30, 30 years of break so uh, this is what I bought about a year ago or a year and a half ago it was a simple SWR meter with a watt meter and um, I was using that for a little bit and then I decided to buy the uh, nano VNA and and I started start doing the uh, all measurements and antenna build up with the SWR to read the SWR with the nano VNA all that stuff and I was gonna get rid of this but then I look in the box and I found this small antenna and I'm like okay I knew this is f to measure the field magnetic field around the antennas then I'm like, okay, well, let's see how to use it. And this is the reason why I'm doing this video because I try to find any information online and I can find it. And, and I bet you that there's a lot of people having this, especially the new people into the 11 meters. And if they want to go and learn something, it's going to be hard to figure out pretty quick how to, how to work with this. You know, if you're not... If you're not lucky, you find some information online. There is, there's, there's a um, lot of other more expensive uh, SWR meters and watt meters plus, I, I would call this magnetic field meter kind of thing, online, and they have you know instructions and all that stuff. But this ones, this is like a cheap twenty-two dollar tool, and they have different names. You know, and on, I can buy it on Amazon and eBay. Or, in other other places so yeah you go to the instruction and there's nothing mentioned in there it's just like nothing SWR meter SWR function power meter function and then you go go back in here and you have SWR meter and power measurements and I'm like well okay what the heck is the antenna for you know and I had one guy actually uh, coming to my house I was showing him my station and he was a new new kind of new guy into that kind of uh, hobby and he's like whoa what the heck is this and I'm like well go try to figure out look something you know online or look 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 in here and figure it out and he couldn't figure it out and that's one of the reasons I'm doing this right now because I bet you there's a bunch of new people that went into hobby and they like okay how the heck am I gonna use this and my problem was that I couldn't figure out how to use it in the beginning because this thing wasn't doing anything I switched the switches between 100 watts, 10 watts, forward, and nothing was happening when I was walking around the antenna with the radio keyed. The problem was this knob was at 7 o'clock, it was at minimum. Because I think I set it up when I set it up to that position when I was uh, reading SWR. So the key for this to, to use it, I think so it has to be in forward, it's more sensitive. And then you have to move this knob to maximum to the right side, which is like 5 p.m. I think so. Yeah, 5, 5, 5 p.m. And when you move this to the to the 5 o'clock right here, this will be the most sensitive that that pickup of the magnetic field. You will see. I'll show you in a moment. You will see that the uh, the needle it's kind of really sensitive. So maybe it depends on the magnetic field, how close you want to be to antenna and testing. You can control the strength of the uh, receiver, let's say, by this knob. So, yeah, this is another short video. I was just like, okay, maybe I, you know, maybe I help somebody, and they have this laying down. I, I, I almost, I almost was ready to just give this away because I have nano VNA. But then, but then I'm like, wait a second. Well, they made this with the antenna, so it has to work. And I couldn't figure it out, and now I, now I kind of figure it out. It's just simple mistake that this was uh, on a minimum setting on uh, yeah like eight o'clock so all right let me key up the radio and I'll go to my backyard and uh, I show you that you can walk around the antenna you will see how this needle is showing the magnetic field okay let's see if we can make it so the radio is keyed you can come close watch see it's already picking up the field I'm about four feet from the antenna the higher I go with it the stronger the field gets so you can actually 
If you have like a car antenna or something, you can walk around. It's too much sun and you can see, hold on, now the sun is screwing the whole video. But you can you see if I go farther away, it changes. You can go closer or higher. It will show that the magnetic field is closer to it's oh it's three feet under the uh, antenna. If I go lower, it goes away. So at my height, six feet, I got a little bit. Okay, so it almost radiates to I say four feet below. That's where the magnetic field is gone, and you can go up. I see the right side is showing magnetic field, and you can you can you know you can get the ladder or anything like that, and you can walk around. And if you have like a direction on the antenna, you know this is a SolarCon A99, so it's a it's omnidirectional. But if you have like a directional antenna, or you want to see how the vehicle antenna radiates, you walk around and. You can see, you see, I'm, I'm, looks like it's radiating, holy moly, radiate, radiating more on this side. I don't know why, than on this side, you see? See the difference? And I, to, to, get, to achieve the same, I have to come much closer. And look at this. I'm just kind of walking around three feet, and boom, look at this. Now if I, I got only two hands, if I move this knob, to the minimum, you see, it's the, the, the um, sensitivity is changing. So that was my mistake. I went to minimum, and I was walking around the around the antenna. I'm like, oh shoot, this doesn't work. It's a junk, but actually it's not. You gotta go and change the sensitivity to full max, and boom. Look at that. So now I can walk around the antenna. The cell phone is zooming really bad. He sees multiple things, that's the thing. See, if I go far away from antenna. Sorry, sorry guys for that zoom. I'm about, oh, right now I'm about six feet away. If I go higher with it, you can see it's reacting. So, $20 tool, actually it's uh, pretty cool. So if you guys have one of those and you guys see those antennas and you know how to use it or what the heck's going on with this, uh, the main reason sensitivity on this one has to be to max and then you guys can start testing any antenna magnetic field. Well, hopefully uh, I helped somebody out there. So uh, happy 4th guys, 73.